For the chicken, I'm going to make a smoky, sticky marinade that will give it a real kick. First of all, I'm going to take the smoked paprika. I really like it for something like bonfire night. Not only does it give a good color, it gives a lovely sort of smoky flavor. Two tablespoons of that. The same amount of Worcester sauce. It gives it strength and potency. And then a touch of sweetness from maple syrup. Two tablespoons, easy to remember. Add six tablespoons of olive oil and to give it a bit of fiery heat, just a few drops of Tabasco and two cloves of crushed garlic. It's a gorgeous, deep red color. Season the chicken, and then it's time to get them into the marinade. Look at that. I'll just get one hand messy. That's it. Once every drumstick is coated, they will need at least 30 minutes in the fridge, ideally overnight. The longer you leave it, the better it is. While the chicken's marinating, I'm going to crack on with some baked potatoes. I've already baked mine for an hour in the oven, and they're ready to fill. Scoop out the centers, and give the potato a quick mash before adding butter. And just a little bit of milk. As my husband says, you can't have a little bit of milk or a little bit of wine. It's a drop. I'm adding soft goat's cheese, roasted red peppers from a jar, and a generous handful of chopped basil. The aroma from this basil is absolutely lovely. All I need to do is to load it back into the potato skins. It's amazing how much you can cram in. They look good even without putting them in the oven. There's lots of different fillings to make for these. I've also done pesto, parsley and parmesan mix. Bacon and mushroom topped with cheddar cheese. And spring onion with sour cream and a sprinkle of paprika. Those just need a drizzle of oil and 15 minutes in the oven until the skins are crisp and the filling beautifully golden. Back to my chicken. There we are. They've had 30 minutes and now I'm going to roast them. Here's my simple trick to fit them all in. There they are, looking like soldiers. There's still a little marinade left in there. Shame to waste it, so let's just pour it over the meaty part. Like that. That's it, they're all well coated. Those go into a hot oven for about 30 minutes until golden and sticky. They really look amazing, and the smell, whoa. How's that for a bonfire feast that packs a punch?